Close your eyes, take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths. Focus your attention on the spots of the body where the breath is most obvious, where you're most sensitive to how the breath feels. And then ask yourself if it's comfortable. If long breathing is comfortable, keep it up. If not, you can change. You can change the rhythm, you can change the texture. Lots of different ways you can play with the breath. This is to pull your interest inside. We spend so much of our lives learning about things outside. And so much of that knowledge just, just washes away. In other words, we know something for a little while, then we forget it because something new comes in, then something new comes in. If you want some knowledge that really is useful, that you can hold on to for a long time, you have to look inside. Because the real problem is inside. We tend to think that the problems of the world are out there. But as the Buddha pointed out, the reason we're suffering comes from within. And the knowledge of why we're suffering and how we can put an end to that suffering, that's probably the most important thing you can learn. And that kind of knowledge can stick with you. The principles that the Buddha taught 2,600 years ago are still true today. People still suffer because of their craving. Their suffering is their clinging. And you can put an end to that suffering by putting an end to the craving through following the path. The path boils down to virtue, concentration, and discernment. For example, with the concentration, trying to keep the mind focused. In keeping it focused, you'll learn a lot. Because there will be parts of the mind that don't want to be focused. And those are the parts you've got to watch out for. Those are the cravings that are going to cause you trouble if you follow them. So here we give the mind a better place to stay, even though it involves some desire to stay here. That desire is going to be useful. Ultimately, you let go of that when you get to the, the, to the goal. But until you've gotten to the goal, you need to have a desire to do this well. It's like going to a park. You go to the park because you want to go to the park. Once you're there, you don't need the desire to go to the park anymore because you've arrived. That kind of desire should be, should be fostered as part of the path. And you should focus your desires on the causes, like right now. Be mindful of the breath. In other words, keep it in mind. Each time you breathe in, you want to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Each time you breathe out, all the way in, all the way out. And be alert. Notice what you're actually doing. Are you following in line with the original intention? If not, get back in line. Because you want to do this well. You're learning some really basic skills for the survival of your goodness, the survival of your well-being. And that kind of knowledge you get outside by listening to the Dharma and learning from other people who practiced. But more importantly, you gain knowledge by looking at what you're doing and what you can learn from what you're doing inside. So if you really want to know the big issues in life, look inside. That's where the real problems are, but that's also where the solution can be found.